Assalamu alaikum my dear students, how are you? I hope you are all well by the grace of Almighty. Welcome to NIEBA Sub School. I am Ashish Bishash, an assistant teacher of mathematics in National Ideal English Version School Morning Shift. Today I am going to take a math class for the student of class 5. So my dear students, let us start our class. Today is our lecture number 8 of half, uh, half annual term and today's SW number will be 7. My dear student, our today's topic name exercise 7B. From 7B, we shall solve two odd problem in our class. Uh, odd problem number 14 and odd, odd problem number 15. And another odd problem, that means odd problem number 13 will be your SW and SW number 7. Okay, my dear student, you must do your SI in SW in your SW copy and submit it regularly in our school campus in every Saturday within 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. So, my dear student, let us start our class exercise 7b today we shall solve two odd problem 14 and 15 at first we solve question number 14 in order to solving question number 14 at first we read the question okay a rectangular land has a area of 729 meter square when its width is 22.5 meter find the length of this land okay so how can we solve this math in order to solve this math, at first we need to know what is the area of areas formula of rectangle. We know area equal to area of rectangle equal to length multiply width. So if area is given and width is given, so how can we find out length? That means we do division. That means length equal to area divided by width then we get the answer okay we use this formula in this math length equal to area divided by width but if the question asks you to find out the width then you must divide it area by length and you get the uh, required width okay but our question asks us to find out the length of this land that means we use this formula okay first of all we write given that given that area of the land equal to 729 meter square and width of the land equal to 22.5 meter so the length of the length equal to of the length equal to area divided by weight so area is 729 and weight is 225 this time we write meter why because we need to find out the length okay so 729 by 1 225 divided by 10 why 10 4.1 and after point there is one digit so 10 so 729 by 1 multiply by 10 by 2 to 5 now my dear student we cut this 10 and 225 by 5 5 2 are 10 and 5 4 are 20 and 5 5 are 25 okay i hope you have understood now we cut this 7 to 9 by 3 and also cut this one by 3 so 3 2 are 6 3 2 are 6 carrying uh, left 1 12 in 12 3 goes in 4 times 3 4 are 12 and 3 3 are 9 okay now as a numerator uh, sorry this uh, is cut by 3 and we get 343 now this one is cut by 3 and we get 3 15 are 45 okay now as a numerator there is 2 multiply by 243 and as a numerator denominator there is 1 and 50 so 15 ones are 15 so 2 3 are 6 
टू फोर जार एट एंड टू टू जार फोर ओके नाउ उ डिवाइड फोर एट सिक्स बै दिस फिफ्टीन फिफ्टीन थ्री जार फर्टी फाइव उप टैक्ट उ गेट थ्री थार्टी सिक्स इन थार्टी सिक्स फिफ्टीन गोस इन टू टाइम्स फिफ्टीन टू जार थार्टी सिक्स so for this we point for this point we write here zero in 60 50 goes in four times 16 uh, four 15 that 60 zero so 30 2.4 meter and it is the answer 32.4 meter i hope you have understood this question next we shall solve question number 15 okay How can a 3.25 meter long iron bar weighs 15.6 kg? Find the weight per meter of this iron bar. That means the weight of 3.25 meter iron bar is 15.6 kg. So the weight of one meter iron bar is what? So we do division. and we get the answer per meter means we need to find out the weight of 1 meter okay write first 15 number the weight of 3.25 meter iron bar is 15.6 kg therefore the weight of 1 meter iron bar is 15.6 divided by 3.25 kg so we write this number without point that means in fractional process then 15 6 by 10. Cos for point we write here one, and after point there is only one digit, so 10 divided by 325. For this point I write here one, and after point there is two digit, so I write this two zero. Kz, right? Then 156 by 10 multiply by 100 divided by 325. Now my dear student, we cut. 10 ones are 10 and 10 tens are 100. 5 twos are 10 and 5 sixes are 30. 5 fives are 50. Now write here 100 divided by 100. Now again this one and the are not cut, so we multiply. 6 twos are 12, carrying 1. 5 twos are 10 plus on 11. So 2 ones are 2 plus on 3. 65. So we divide this 312 by this 65. So here in 312, 65 goes in four times. Four fives are 20. Four sixes are 24 plus 2, 26. Now we subtract two. Uh, six to 11, we need five. Carrying one, that one is added with two. Three. Three minus three, that means zero. Fifty-two. That means four point. Four point. I write here zero. Uh, in 520 65 goes in 8 times 8 fives are 40 carrying 4 8 sixes are 48 plus 4 52 so 48 kg sorry 4.8 kg is the weight of 1 meter iron bar i hope you have understood and this is the answer 4.8 kg So my dear student I hope you understood my today's lecture and there is another one odd problem which is odd problem number 13 and this will be your ASW and this is so easy you read this first and after that we do division and you get the answer so my dear student this is our today's lecture I hope you have understood my today's lecture keep practicing at home abide by your parents see you soon till then assalam alaikum